Right then Bones, hi. So what I'm going to do today is uh, show you how to make cider. So, just been out apple picking. And they're just about right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to run you quickly through the ingredients in the next frame and show you how to, how to make the cider. So essentially then, the ingredients are simply apples. Some are on the floor, some were in the tree, some are half eaten. So all we do is blitz these apples up, press them to get the juice out, add some yeast, let it ferment away, then rack it and bottle it. Now first, we have to wash the apples. So I've given them a quick wash. I'm not gonna bother digging out all the little bits and pieces, they're just as they are. What we do next is we've got to cut the apples up uh, small enough so that the press can actually squash them. Now this device here, was invented by a man called Gospodin Roger. So this process, in actual fact, is called rogering. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna roger those apples and they'll be in a mushy state, then we're gonna put them into the press. So this is what we're getting to, look. It's kind of a mush now, and this is blitzing the, uh, the apples. So it's all going on pretty well. Got a few more left, got more to do, and we'll uh, carry on with that. Right, so here it is, that's all of those apples, all squidged up. Right, what we need to do now is get the juice out of them. Now we're gonna do that by putting the stuff in a press. This is the press strip down. It's called a basket press. So there's the two sides of the basket. I've just cleaned those. I'm gonna assemble them onto here. This will have a handle on it. And with those blocks over there, we'll squish the juice out. There's not going to be a load, but it'll be fine. Now what we need inside the basket is a special um, muslin cloth to stop all the pips and everything else coming out into the juice. Now I can't believe my luck because Donny come back from the market today with these. She's mumbling something about windows and covering windows. And but I know that this is a specialist cloth. I don't know why they sell it in these market stalls for things to put on the windows. So there's about four metres worth there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that up and squish all the stuff in it. Right, off we go. Right, so essentially I've put the special cloth inside. And what we're going to do, we're going to shovel that in there. I'm going to put these two half things over and block them up with the wood of there. This screw mechanism will squish down and in theory it'll come out the little slot right there. Um, I'll put a bucket there and a trap so I don't miss any. And that's about it. Alright, let's put the music on. Right, here we are. Here's the mush. Haven't put those in yet. You can see, <laughs> normally got half a bucket already without squashing. So we'll fold it up. So it's coming out, going now. Just started doing this. This is the old uh, press, look. What you do, you squish it. It's just a ratchet press. It's just barely getting started. Not even squishing it yet. Gotta be careful now, you pump it and then give it a rest, because otherwise we'll have a, an overflow. We wouldn't have to drink it all on the run, would we? It looks like we're filling up the first one, and we're gonna take it from here, and I'm gonna skip and this demi on. Now this is like 34 litres, I don't think we'll have that much in a few apples, but we go. Oh, that's my beer on the run. Right, okie dokie.
so there it is. I don't know, seven or eight gallons of um, apple juice. That's the press. The sides are off now. It splits in two. And that's the material. Inside that is totally rock hard mush. I'm going to give that to the chickens and that's going to be brilliant. So, so what we're going to do now is just look how much sugar is actually in the juice. That will tell us what the potential alcohol is. And it will also give us a guide when the fermentation has stopped. See, that's 1050, which is very good. Off the top of my head, potential alcohol would be around 7%, but that's ideal conditions. You're looking at 5.5%, 6%. So that's good.